how has this changed, if at all, um, since COVID? Like, how, how has your timelines changed? How has the setup of the advance changed at all? Everything seems to be supply chain issues and timeframes and availability and everything else. I mean, it was, um, there was a lot more scarcity uh, in 2021 than I've seen probably ever. And I, I did not envy the asset managers as they were trying to scrape together, um, you know, vendors they may have never used before, just trying to get whatever asset that they were coming up short on. Um, that and so many events were happening at the same time. A lot of events had moved um, that were normally earlier in the year. And so uh, it became a, a much bigger challenge and the deadline schedule really got a lot more scrutiny uh, because you know we need to be able to claim our assets from from these vendors um, but i think that the biggest change that i saw that people were trying to solve for was on the um you know on the covid compliance side which you know I am, I am not an expert in, in that by any means, but trying to use the database or a, a system, trying to develop a, a process to, you know, what, what are this event's policies when it comes to um, COVID compliance? Are we, are we requiring um, vaccination? Are we requiring uh, a negative test within a time frame? And then how to work that into the advanced process. Are we engaging a, a third party for this? Are we going to go out to someone like Clear and try to use uh, Clear's technology or Clear for how are we validating this? How does this fit into the workflow of credentials and credentials issuance? Is it happening um, before? Um, is it part of the credentials process? Uh, you can't even get your credential. You won't be approved for a credential if you've not provided this this uh, this information that is going to adhere to the specific mm -hmm. policy. So I think that's probably where I felt the biggest um, the biggest push in in change from uh, workflow uh, on an advanced side.